Whoosh. Just say fat. Not curvy or chubby or chunky or fluffy or more to love or big guy or husky or obese or overweight. Just say fat. The very first piece was called A Request From Your Fat Friend. And like 30,000 people read it in a week. And I was like, whoa, okay. My aim is to provoke people to question the ideas that we've held on to for so long. The strongest bonding amongst women happens when people are talking about how much they hate their bodies. Oh, God. I had a woman take a melon out of my cart, and she went, it's got too much sugar for you. It's a melon. The wellness industry is worth $4.5 trillion. This is like big tobacco levels of just lying to people. It's like they're trying to pull some Jedi mind trick. It's not a diet. <laughs> At the tender age of 11, I had already attended kids' fat day camps. It was my responsibility. Her size was my responsibility. You know, I was always, like my father, worried about losing control. Having cameras going sort of makes things bubble up. It is a real paradigm shift to look at someone my size and rather than thinking, boy, I wish that person would put in some effort, thinking, that person may have put in a great deal of effort. And that might have been what got them here. As a fat person, you figure out how to disappear yourself. That's the only way I have existed in the world. I just sent in the last chapter of the book. Oh my God. <laughs> I took more from how you looked at yourself than how you looked at me. But I think that's how it gets passed along. Hi, everybody. Welcome to maintenance phase. You will learn, get angry, and have a good time. <laughs>